Hi, Jason with Stutzman's Greenhouse here. Now that fall's coming and temperatures are getting cooler, it's time to start thinking about bringing in your summer bulbs. Give a little video here showing how to do that. Uh, this is a large canna we grew all season long, and I want to save the root to replant the next season. So the first thing we're going to want to do, and this would be the same whether it's in a container or in the ground, is we want to clip off all the foliage to ground level. We don't have to be too exact. We're going to come back and neaten them up a little bit when we're done. But we just need to get the bulk of it off of here so that we can get to the root that we need. Okay, well now that I've gotten the top all cleared off, I'm going to dump it out of the pot and begin to get ready to divide and store the roots. Now, once you've got your can of dug, You'll have a large chunk like this, and this process can be done any time before a hard freeze. But once you have the larger clump done, you're going to want to split it off into some smaller tubers. And as we split that off and clean that, we will find some nice chunks here. A root and tuber that can be saved and replanted next season. I'm going to get all of the loose dirt off of them right now and get all the loose shaken off and you'll have some nice tubers like that for next season. You can see some of the eyes already starting on them and then once we get them cleaned off we're going to want to store them, and to start with, they need to dry out a little bit. So I'm just going to use some onion bags. You could use a crate or something that lets quite a bit of air into them for a while. But it, I'm just going to loosely pack all these in here. And once I get them in here, I'm going to store them out of the sun where we can get good air circulation. I get that good air circulation for a week, 10 days or so, and these roots will get a lot drier and a lot tougher. And once that curing process is done, I'll go ahead and pack them in a large paper sack uh, with some really dry potting soil or sawdust. But you want to be sure and use the paper. We want them to be able to breathe. We don't want them to rot but the potting soil and the paper will keep them from drying out too quickly. And then come spring, you'll be ready to plant them uh, the same way again. If you have a lot of green stalk left, we could go through and trim them a little bit more if they needed it. But that's about good right there. So hopefully this gives you some ideas on your summer bulb storage for winter. The same process would work for elephant ears, gladiolas, any of those other summer blooming bulbs. Uh, thank you for watching.